promising showing of yeah. just skill. So it's good to see that, you know, even when, eventually when TJ will age out, you know, Buntai Fan will be one of those players that hopefully we'll still see hold down. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, you're hitting the nail on the head there. Well, this is one, this is one of our up and coming young blood players mm -hmm. versus one of our established. This guy's won several MSM since we since we came back. Yeah. And it just goes to show, even the even the younger players too, they have a lot to show and a lot to definitely prove, even against somebody who's currently established in SoCal too. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Minute actually sent out T3 to losers. No, that was Chad. That was Chad? Okay. And that was what I was about to bring up is I wonder what Dom's going to be able to change. He lost to this character in winner's bracket. Mm -hmm. Is, you know, there going to be a style difference between uh, Buntai Fan and Chad? Or, you know, did Dom take the time after his winner set to say, okay, I know what I did wrong. Let me, you know, collect exactly. myself and play this one better. And it looks like he's playing it phenomenally so far. Look at far. the spark notes of how to fight the character, right? And that would oh. not surprise me if he had some spark notes ready to go. He did get that down that down air into the up air, and he was already up a whole stock lead. Just going to show a little bit of the difference between Chad and, of course, Midnight. I think for T3-2, it's also looking at what does... What can I catch that Midnight doesn't do compared to Chad? The thing about Palutena is she's such a common matchup in the meta, especially in SoCal, that yeah. you kind of have to get used to fighting this character to be able to advance anywhere in bracket. Definitely a true statement, Vance. I mean, this this is like the, you got your Wolves, your Palutenas, now your Aegises probably. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's definitely one of the Soon most common Soon to be Diddy's around too. I've seen some of Days Robs. But Rock. those are characters where like you have to know the matchup exactly. because the likelihood that you're going to run into one in a normal bracket run is relatively high. Yeah, I, and I think for for Midnight, like not to discredit him or anything, he has to go up against what is the, the player to actually make the meta for Richter. So getting a victory here does mean a lot to Midnight, but also trying That's to like adapt to somebody who is the character specialist of the character. Oh, that, was, that was good too. The thing about T3, is he forces you into those options. He wants you to think that's the best one, when in reality, he has an option for that too. Yeah, and I feel like that was kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't exactly. situation there for uh, Midnight, because he he was landing on the fire either way. And whether or not he goes for that reflect, he's gonna get hit by that F-tilt that Dom threw. Yeah. If he gets hit by the fire, he's trapped in it, he gets F-tilted. Exactly. If he reflects, he lands, he's in the lag, he gets F-tilted. <laughs> It's like it's like taking a multiple choice test and all the answers are wrong. <laughs> yeah. The, the the D is you you thought it was A and B, but it turns out it's all of none of the above, and you circled the wrong one. That's yeah. College, am I right? But of course, uh, oh that was good to set up for the grab, forcing Midnight to evaluate that option too. Obviously, the answer to that for Midnight was going for out of, jump out of shield. Yeah, now that was just, Dom missed that on purpose. He was just scaring him, saying, I could do this, be scared of it. <laughs> nah, setting, up, setting up for the real conditioning. In all reality, Boontai fan here just going crazy with the uppers. They're 94% when he kills T3 Dom, able to get the platform reset, make it so difficult for Dom to land, and just all around impossible, actually. Yeah, Belmont landing and Belmont weight is so good to, to juggle but also stop because they have very very poor landing options unfortunately oh no he got the fit he got the footstool okay he gets the uh, i feel like that was just supposed to be like just bait out the jump out of shield <laughs> nair above him but he footstools flies to the top of the blast zone with the nair yeah and dom's just ready to uppercut it and that was good too because dom had that opportunity of cool like that's kind of one of the options that you can do out of shield for belmont is the up the outer shield so dom already had that pre the in ready i think that's the difference too between for like I've, I've talked about T3 so many times, but to like just to recorrect myself here, T3 always plays to give you a multiple choice test and give you only one right answer. And in the heat of the moment, it's so hard to make the right answer. The, the way that he catches yeah, you. Dom, Dom definitely has you doing like two plus four on a calculator just to make sure they ain't changed nothing <laughs> yeah, yet. Exactly. All like, right, well, maybe like, man, man, I, I just, I know what this is, but like, I, I need to make sure I know, right? <laughs> right. Like, you second guess you get yourself. get the test jitters. <laughs> I hear well, Midnight will be switching out to Wolf. Uh, definitely not liking how the matchup was for Palutena compared to Chad. 
Yeah, and I feel like Wolf is kind of a character made to deal with zoners. Yeah. He has really good combo opportunities, as we've seen with Charlie, but also his knockback oh my God. is a snowball of damage. And you have to really watch yourself. What a great tech chase to get that dash attack. And then continuously still juggle Dom. Like you said, meant to deal with zoners. And I think, Go on. I think the big thing about that, and that is so unfortunate of an SD, but what I was about to say, was I think the biggest thing is there's often this common angle you want to jump in on zoners that with, and Wolf is able to get so much off of the hits that you do when you jump in with that. Either the fair or the nair. Exactly. Huge combo opening tools, and you you throw them out by jumping over zoners object or projectiles, things like that. Exactly, and you want to catch T3 in the middle of those projectiles, like you said. All right, really good there to kind of stop. That's the thing about TJ. He wants to force you to jump and play the granite game, but it's so difficult because he's trying to get in on him. All right. Oh, no. Yeah. He's got covered. Yeah, he does. You have to give him credit there. A lot of coverage here from T3. The thing here for Midnight is he's got to watch himself on that jump because he can see when T3 will make the commitment, and that's your best time to actually make that jump. Great direction on air dodge to move yourself away from the blossom without burning a jump as early as possible. Like I said, wait for that commitment. You see him toss that aerial. That's your key to jump. There's only one right answer. Can you find the answer? And it's all about that adaptation because eventually you will be able to get that answer. But it's like it's like taking a multiple choice test while you're like taking your driver's test at the same time because it's like you have just a half of a second to make the decision. You, this is so off key. Do you, do you, I remember when I took my driver's test, there was one like four, four foot eight, and then four foot eight point, like eight point eighty five. And I was like, wouldn't it just be four foot eight? And it was just such an obscure answer. And I, then I that, don't know what you're talking about. This is when you're taking your, te your test for, <laughs> for your driver's license. And I'm I, you, I get what you're saying. I don't know. All right, we'll drop this. Okay. We'll drop this. Back to the match. <laughs> Right, and a wolf flush almost kills Dom off the top, but not quite. And their dash attack will kill T3 Dom. Down to his last stock, and, you know, we saw Buntai Fan lose an unfortunate SD mm -hmm. stock early, but, you know, if he's able to bring this back, that's going to be huge for his, you know, momentum. Yeah, 83% is not too out of the cards, but you have to also still respect things. Like, the one thing that you will always have to respect to finish that off is basically... The way that T3 is always tossing across, it's either his combo starter, combo ender, combo breaker, or something to just consistently protect himself from things like grab or your aggression. That was good too. That was a little bit preemptive, but he saw that forward air and he predicted the cross up. Yeah. And there was no cross up there itself. So. Oh, that could be huge. Oh, that is huge here, and Midnight able to get the comeback from the originally one with T3's lead. And put one point on the board here, keeping it 1-1. What I'm saying is, to finish off that statement so I can fix myself okay. here. When you take your driver's license, from what I remember showing off my age, is that there will be two correct answers, but one of them is the more correct answer than the other. And you can sometimes mistake that for what you think is the right answer when in reality it would be something like four foot eight. And this was something of a question that I specifically remember is that when you drive, what is the height requirement for a booster when they have to stop wearing a booster seat? It was something like that from that back then. Okay. But we could talk about that some other time. And we're not talking about driver's license. Here. We're talking about multiple choice answers and the, w the way that TP plays is a bunch of multiple choice answers with only one correct one. And looking like Midnight has finally found the right answer here. And it is that wolf. See, the thing is, I feel like Wolf was the kid that just, like, did a pattern on his bubble sheet, but somehow still got, like, a C+. Plus. Can I can I confess something? Did you the, do that? I did that, too, based off Guitar Hero songs. Guitar Hero songs? <laughs> <laughs> based off Guitar Hero songs, I would do patterns. And sometimes I would go, like, a D. Or okay. if it's... Chances are, if the, answer, if the question was, is it all of the above, it's always all of the above. Yeah, that one's fair. All right, well, let's see if all of the above is going to be the answer here for Midnight because he's trying to be jumping above his opponent when he's at the corner to answer for a lot of TT's commitments, especially when it comes to going for an aerial. Unfortunately, oh, do that, not jump. Do, do not, not jump. Be yeah, above. do not be above that this time. None of the above is the correct answer. All right, well, for Midnight here, looking to see how oh, he's going to be above T3, but unfortunately, he's going to... I like that. He wanted to drift towards the ledge so he doesn't get hit by up air, seeing how T3 was there. But unfortunately, T3 just knows, all right, cool, I have time to send that out. Take this. 
I like that use of holy water there to try to get it at the ledge to stop Midnight from being at the ledge and kind of force him a little bit off. I, and it feels like, you know, this is one hit away from being an even stock game. Oh, what a great tech chase there. It's like I know this game sometimes, man. <laughs> I called it. Years and years of us watching Charlie. This is like, all right, cool. This is what Charlie would do. Tech chase here with that down smash. I, I feel like uh, it's crazy because this game is three years old. We have been commentating it for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely true in these players. I mean, Dom's been spending all three years making this character work. Yeah. Like, I remember day one seeing him do Victor stuff and going, oh, that's pretty neat. I mean, he can do Holy Water into F Smash. That's fun. How do you deal with that? Mm -hmm. And then people figured out how to deal with that, and now we've Dom's evolved into this monster. Exactly. He's been able to, okay, cool. I can actually, at this percent, which is 90 plus, it's better to go for angled forward there instead of that smash because my opponent might try to jump out of it. That's a great, excellent use of down tilt there to catching Midnight in the middle of that platform and convert that into an up special. I and Okay, so this is still best of five. Yeah. Backer. Dom just doing his best to stay under the Smashville platform right now and not let uh, Boontai fan jump in on him. And that's, I feel like, what people don't think about when they take zoners or let zoners go to Smashville. Yeah. And Battlefield 2 as well, where it's like, it's so hard to jump in on them when they sit under the platform like that. Exactly. Because the way that platforms are also in this game is a little sticky. Yeah. And you have to be very cautious when you actually land on the platform, too. But also the, the platform just come offering cover like that. T3 has so much advantage. He's got the whole center stage to himself. I like that use of up people preemptively yet again. There is no cross up for midnight. Okay, T3 says himself here at the ledge. Holy water to force out any option for midnight. There is a roll and that is going to be covered. Oh, and it goes through the stage, catches Buntai Fan in the lag from the laser. You know, he normally would have been able to at least recover that after the laser lag, but. Yeah. He was still in it. The axe goes through the ledge, hits him, and that's going to be the game. Yeah. That's good for Dom, too, because the way he had initially set himself out is having cross, having holy water, which can force Buntai Fan, I'm sorry, Midnight, to start evaluating that. That's what we kind of saw him go for a lower recovery. He didn't want to interact with holy water as part of his recovery, nor be forced, okay, cool, I've got the ledge, let's roll now, or let's try to get jump because of holy water. There's so much coverage that T3 has at the ledge that essentially Midnight did think Low recovery is right, and that's why we saw the axe come out into play. Three, two, one, go. I think that's been one of my favorite things about watching Dom is just his ability to understand his opponent's next choice of a recovery that he has that in, in the cards. I right now Dom just trying to space these photos. Buntai fans shield getting pretty low, but not getting poked quite yet. But I like it. While he's in neutral, he's not throwing out these projectiles very often. Doesn't want to give. He recognizes that Wolf has the reflector and that he's a good enough player to know, okay, well, I don't have to deal with these if I don't have to. So instead, he's opting for the normals to try and force Buntai fan to ledge. And that's when the projectiles come out, because it's a lot more committal to, like, double jump reflector or something. Mm, I like that use of X. Even though he missed it, he's looking to cover where Midnight might actually try to drift towards. All right. Take this. Go. Only one here to cover the ledge, the upper and the cross conversion from that. What a play too. I think, man, he's just excellent at forcing his opponents. A few times we have been able to see Midnight jump out of those ledges. And I kind of want to see how Midnight is going to be able to answer. He needs to start looking at Dom's commitment and which area he might be going for. Because that will be his, his actual answer here. Okay, jumping would be the wrong answer here, but I do like that. Coming in with the reflector to stop the cross and any conversion. He's got to watch his jumps here because that's how TP has been able to catch him. Right, and the dash check just going to catch Buntai fans landing through the platform. To keep the pressure on, but fighting his way out right now. All right, like that. A little bit of a tech roll towards center stage. Don't panic. All right, 
Blaster started in the holy water here. Min has to watch to get up there, but unfortunately the axle will be covering. Huge. Dom it's... waits for the air dodge, doesn't quite find it. He had the timing, but not the actual positioning. Nice. Sends cross away, forcing Midnight to actually go for the jump, giving him the roll. I've seen this, I've seen the classic Dom movement like that for quite a few times, but there's gonna be the Nair. Not actually gonna kill. I thought he SD'd. I was scared too. Alright, so far Midnight trying to stay calm in the middle of all these projectiles and all these disjoints. It's rough for sure. Because you start getting conditioned too at that point. Like you have to, you start to evaluate like, okay, cool. Is, I can't go for jump, I have to play the ground game. But then Dom will start covering the ground game. And you're like, man, I should have gone for jump. But there is finally a little bit of fresh air for Midnight. You're able to get this back air. Dom sees how he's at the corner, tries to go for that grab board. Like awesome. All right, Holy War at the ledge. What's going to be the option? He knows the neutral gap is coming at the end of it. Drag down Nair into the uppie, and that's going to be the stop. Untai fan down to his last one. If he loses this, he is out of the tournament. Yeah, and it's so hard. It's so hard for Midnight, too, because you have to give him credit. The way that Dom has just been playing has been very, very, no pun intended, dominant, that he's been covering a lot of what you would like to see Midnight or even Wolf operating. Okay. A little bit of a double jump. I do kind of want to see if Minna can start looking at I was going to say, he get this back there. Yeah. yeah, he catches the jump too from Dom. The one thing that I haven't seen from Dom is going for a lot of aerials as well. He's been comfortable with that. All right, up the out shield for Dom. Just going to keep the damage up, but one hit. Intent fan able to even this up now with that down air. I like the use of the dash tag to get the momentum to go under the oh. forward air. Nice, able to get the grab after that neutral air. And you can see that that neutral air wanted, was something that Dom wanted to convert afterwards. All right, downer into the forward air. He recognizes the DI away on the downer. He's not going to be able to. Oh no! Yeah. Caught in the middle of trying to get out of holy water yeah, there. Just buffer an air dodge out. Another one goes for the forward smash, knows there's nowhere for him to go. And this is going to be Dom getting his run back on Chag now. Yeah.